going on, ladies and gentlemen? Tonight, I am making some meatloaf. Not just any meatloaf, turkey meatloaf. And to take it a step further, turkey meatloaf baked in parchment paper. So I'm, uh, what I did is I started prepping all the ingredients so you guys didn't have to you know, spend all that time watching me prep. But let me explain what I have here. So I took some uh, ground beef, I'm sorry, ground beef, ground turkey, two pounds. Also one pita that I put in the food processor and um, you know, to make kind of breadcrumbs. Uh, I have a pack of spinach, two packages of frozen spinach that I squeezed the water out so it wasn't too watery. And I put some spices in, garlic powder, onion powder, cumin, black pepper, uh, paprika, and some thyme and about one t uh, tablespoon of each. So to combine, let's go ahead and move this here. So to combine this, right? Also to bind it, excuse me, I have a half a cup of egg whites. All right. And to add a little zing, I bought some fat-free feta cheese uh, and I did a, this is a third of a cup. And, but then again, this is for two pounds, and it'll give a little extra flavor. So let me spread that in as well. You don't have to put the cheese, obviously, and I know if I'm watching my calories, but again, this is still pretty low fat when you consider what's in here. And I'll add a little extra flavor. I washed my hands, so let's go ahead and combine. Yeah, it says the messy job, right? Okay, let's go ahead and combine this. And it's really important when you're making meatloaf or hamburgers, you don't over mix because it can get tough. So I'm just kind of folding in the ingredients, making sure everything gets incorporated, right? And squishy here. Okay, should be right about it. All right, so next, wash your hands. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get some hot water here. put this back in the pan, but I just wanted to rinse my hands off for a second. Actually, you know what I'll do? Let me just grab a spoon here. Now, what I'm going to do differently is, once again, it's called en papillot. It's a French cooking technique. Now, by any means, am I a French chef or anything like that? No, I just like cooking shows. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this mixture right here on one side of the paper. This is, uh, I know I washed my hands, but I'm going to have to get in there and mold this again. And then we wash my hands. I'm going to make like a loaf. And you see the spinach in there and the feta. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the parchment paper and I'm going to wrap this bad boy. Let me move this to the side over here. And the thing here is you want to crimp the edges, kind of seal it, 
and it's really important. Now, I'm not perfect, it's my first time trying this, but you know, I like to live on the edge a little bit, try something different. Folding those edges. Now over here I left a little space here because I'm going to add a little bit of liquid. I'm going to try a little wine. You could try a little broth or something. Just put in a dash and that's it. Just to add a little moisture and flavor. And I'm going to seal this bad boy. Let that drain to the other side. So I wrapped the meatloaf in the parchment paper and we're going to bake it at 350 for 35 minutes and again you can put parchment paper in the oven. Also, like I said, why don't I try that with the vegetables? So I took uh, some frozen broccoli spears, a couple of heads of garlic, cut them in half, just a touch of olive oil, some black pepper and I'm going to wrap this one as well. Put it right next to you on the side. This is definitely not the right way to do it, but I'm trying it out. I'm gonna flip it over, put the seams down. All right, there you go. So I have the vegetables, I have the meatloaf and pavillon. Again, sorry, technique is horrible. Um, first time trying it out, I'm gonna put it in the oven and let's see how it comes out. Hey guys, I just uh, took the meatloaf out of the oven and I'm about to crack open the, uh, crack open, tear open the parchment paper. So let's take a look. Just setting up my camera. All right, let's give this bad boy a try. looks really juicy. Let's take a look at the broccoli. Look at that. And then with the roasted garlic, that's a thing of beauty. All right. So we have the meatloaf and papillote cooked in parchment paper, some steamed broccoli with some of that fresh garlic. I'm about to mash up and put it with the broccoli. So ladies and gentlemen, that's my recipe for tonight. Um, give it a try, see how it comes out. And I hope you guys like it. And uh, thank you guys for all your continued support. Have a great evening. Take care, bye-bye.